Hello and welcome to today's Tottenham Transfer Talk with me, Jack Bryden. Up first today, apparently Clinton and G is staying at Spurs. Now, Pochettino has come out and said that Ng is injured, which is why he hasn't been able to travel to Australia. He said he's in London and wasn't available for our trip down under. He said the situation of the other three players, now we're talking about Bentaleb, Pritchard and Fazio here, they are not in his plans for the future. So clearly Pochettino wants us to believe that Clinton and G is in his plans for the future. However, I'm a little bit suspicious about this uh, with the potential signing of George, Kevin and Kudu, uh, which is pretty much imminent, we're led to believe. Um, so you would expect that NG might be on his way. Apparently he's been linked with Marseille, who are very interested in him on an, an initial loan deal with the potential of a permanent £7 million deal with add-ons if he achieves them next season. Apparently they're quite easily achievable ones. So if he gets some game time for them, then maybe he, he could make that, um, that deal possible. So, you know, we signed him on a five-year deal last season for 8 million quid. I feel like... I feel a little bit bad for him, to be honest. Let me know what you think in the comments below, but I feel a little bit sorry for him. He's not had much game time. He's played about 14 games, I think. Uh, he's made 14 appearances, only one assist as well in that time. So he's not had the rub of the green. He's not had much luck as a Spurs player. He was injured as well, remember. So I feel like he's not had um, the best of chances. However, I trust him, Poch. I don't know if you do, but I trust in him. So, you know, I'm going to back him on this one. Uh, maybe Nkudu has, you know, that extra factor that maybe Ng doesn't have. Let me know what you think about that one in the comment section below. So moving on to uh, those three players that uh, Pochettino said that don't have a, a future at the club. So here we're, we'll start off with Nabil Bentaleb. He is the one that a lot of people out there are a little bit concerned about. They're letting him go. Probably one of the players out there of those three uh, that has shown promising traits in the past. Last season, he only made five league appearances, I think. Uh, again, he was injured. He had that performance against Manchester United that a lot of people gave him stick for. If you remember, he gave the ball away, which led to a goal. Um, apparently, uh, he is ready for a, a loan deal away from the club. There are a lot of, lot of teams that are interested in him. But apparently, the club are prepared to let him go on loan for next season. So I don't know whether we'll be letting him go permanently, but Pochettino has said that he doesn't have a future at the club. Let me know what you think about Nabil Bentaleb potentially going on his way from the club uh, in the comments below. Moving on to Pritchard. He's up for sale for eight million quid. Swansea are interested in him. Now, he's one that I'm also a bit disappointed that we didn't really get to see much of him. Uh, I've seen him play a few times uh, in in the youth teams and things like that, and he's a good player. But clearly Pochettino, again, he sees him every day in training. He doesn't think that he has a future at the club. Again, as I say, one of the ones that I was a, a bit disappointed to see that he's on the list of people going, but clearly he doesn't have enough uh, to you know, make Pochettino's plans in the future. Finally, Fazio, one that we're all sort of happy uh, to see leave out the exit door. Again, everyone knows the situation with Fazio. Espanyol have been in talks with him and are apparently quite keen to, to bring him over. If he goes, we've still got the likes of Cameron Carter-Vickers, who's a big lad, someone that Pochettino clearly, um, he named him on the bench a few uh, times last season. Clearly Pochettino is, is confident that he can make the step up, uh, whether it be next season or, or in, a, in the season after that. But... He's, as I say, big lad, someone that Pochettino uh, has faith in and he likes a, a big, stocky player. So, yeah, hopefully um, CCV can step up next season and Fazio will be on his way. So let me know what you think about all of those three potentially leaving the club this summer in the comments section below. Finally today, a couple of good news stories. Pochettino said that he's going to stay at the club, which I'm sure all of you out there will be massively happy with. Obviously, we all know he was linked with the Argentina job. He's Argentinian, he's a great manager at a great club. Surely he's obviously going to be linked with the Argentina job. But he's come out and said that he's very happy at Spurs and now is not the right moment to be managing Argentina. So we are all happy with that, happy that Pochettino stayed. Obviously, we all knew that that would be the case because we've got a new stadium coming up. We've got a great team, great team morale. Finished third last season. Obviously, it was a bit of a disappointing end to the season. But there's, it's promising times at Spurs. Why would Pochettino want to leave? I didn't believe that for one second. And I hope none of you did either. So we're happy that Pochettino is staying. And the last topic we're going to talk about today is that Spurs fan favourite Raphael van der Vaart could be on his way back to England. Now, unfortunately, it's not in any sort of capacity with Spurs. 
Reading are interested in him since he's out of contract at Real Betis. Now, if they snap him up, that's going to be a great signing for them. I personally would love to have him back at the club in any sort of capacity, whether it's as a fringe player or as a coach or a member of staff in any sort of way. Earlier on last week, a lot of you would have read this, but he said that he still loves the club, thinks about us all the time and remembers all those magical nights that we had in the Champions League. Hopefully we'll have a few more next season. But if Reddin do snap him up, then fair play to him. That's a great signing for them. So we wish him all the best. So that's it for today's Tottenham Transfer Talk. If you like the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, then make sure you do. And also subscribe to us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. How's it going, everyone? It's me, Craig Mitz, joined by Reese James. And welcome to the big debate. But this time, it's kind of like a pre-season debate. Yeah, we're not yeah. really.